Hello everyone and welcome to Show of the Week. This week we're taking a look at the latest in the long-running driving game series, so who better to take the lead than resident petrol head here, Mike Channel, with his legendary obsession with cars. I, come on, I'm, I'm not obsessed with cars. Yeah, well how do you explain this? You're really bad at Photoshop? A likely story. Anyway, in preparation for this week's show, I've been learning how to correctly pronounce the name of our Game of the Week. Forza Horizon. Forza Horizon. So, without further ado, here's our feature on Forza Horizone. It's Forza. It's Italian for go. You're Italian for go. <sighs> Whatever, here's the feature. Mum's Italian for go. This is for the ones who care. All the bad that's been said. Hard as it is to believe, this is a debut game. Back in 2010, Forza Motorsport developer Turn 10 handed over the keys to their baby and politely asked British Upstart's Playground Games not to scratch the paintwork. Two years later, and the open world race of Forza Horizon is the result. Forza 4 might be the game with the Top Gear branding, but if anything, Horizon is the one that will resonate most with the TV show's audience. This is all about blasting along public roads, totally unnecessary power slides, and very occasionally racing an aeroplane. If you've been frightened away by the simulation aspects of Forza Motorsport in the past, this is probably the driving game for you. It rewards you for just about everything, including smashing into stuff, so no matter how recklessly you drive, you're still building a reputation with the festival crowd. Did we not mention the festival? The entire game is based around a fictional festival called Horizon in Colorado. The music is curated by Rob DeBank of Sunday Best and Bestival fame, and he even advised on the correct placement of the porta potties. And it's that commitment to authenticity when it comes to public conveniences that's the reason why Forza Horizon is our game of the week. Oh wow, cars. Loving those cars, conveying people from A to B. Oh, look, I like cars, but not to the extent that you're implying. God, he's going off on one about cars again. Look, look over there, Mike. There's a Lamborghini Ferrari. That's not even a thing. Just look over there. Oh, hi, hello. Hey. All right. Yeah, Mike's in there. He's in car mode again. Oh, bless him. When isn't he in car mode? Yeah. I'm not obsessed with cars! <laughs> there he is right now talking about uh, cars. Unbelievable. I know, right? So how's your week been? <laughs> yeah, good. I was uh, telling my fortune with these spooky Dishonored tarot cards. Okay. Oh, death. Oh, well, change, transition, that's fine. That's uh, a, lot of, a lot of death, a lot of transition. That's... Uh, oh, come on. Oh, also I was playing uh, Forza Horizon, which is good. It's less hardcore sim, more open world sandbox kind of thing. Uh, plus you can find a load of cars in barns or buy them from the in-game auto show. Oh, uh, speaking of, I stole Mike's notebook. Um, he's found a load of new and exclusive cars to Forza Horizon. He's made a list of them. All right, excellent. Why don't we steal a research and make a video about it? Best idea. Forza Horizon naturally benefits from the extensive car lists of the previous Forza game, but there's a choice selection of exciting new cars as well. Of the cars making their Forza debut in Horizon, here are our absolute favourites as selected by us and not by Mike, <clears throat> no matter what he tells you. You can't bung a load of off-road racing in a game and not add a decent rally car to get dirty. Fortunately, Forza has chosen the Lancia Delta S4, born from an era when rallying was insanely dangerous and cars would hold their own off the grid in a Formula 1 race. This is the road version, but there's no reason why you can't upgrade it to the rally spec 560 brake horsepower. Oh, and there's precisely no space for the shopping because it's all engine back there. The 1965 Mini Cooper S needs no introduction. Well, no, it looks like it needs some introduction. OK, it seems criminal that the original Mini has never appeared in a Forza game before, but with British studio Playground Games at the helm, it's finally getting its day in the sun. It's got rally heritage too, with the previous year's model famously winning the Monte Carlo rally in the hands of Paddy Hopkirk. It won't go that quickly in a straight line, but when your opponents are braking for a corner, you'll still be accelerating. You might be more familiar with the new Fiat 500, but the 1968 Abarth 595SS was based on the original pocket-sized model. It was souped up by legendary Italian tuning house Abarth, and it's enormously rare these days as Playground Games discovered back in late 2011 when they headed to a Fiat enthusiast forum to try and find an example of the car. Thanks for nothing, FiatForum.com. Still, the car's in the game in all its glory, though sadly not running with the engine flat propped open to keep it cool on all those long journeys around Colorado. Ego 
legal speedster might sound like what you'd get if you asked an eight-year-old boy to name a car, but regardless, it's probably the most exciting of Forza Horizon's new additions. It's based on the classic British-built Jaguar E-Type shape from the 1960s, but filled with technology that isn't held together with rust and bovril. The result is very much the sincerest form of flattery. Oh, hi. You're just in time for my feature. Um, I'm really proud of this. It's the best new and exclusive cars in Forza Horizon. Oh, yeah, yeah. Me and Andy, we did it already. We won this award for best feature on Forza Horizon. So, yeah, congrats to us. And um, sorry. I'm sorry about that. Uh, comments, right? You like comments? Should we do a comment section? Right, first up, Back88 Official, your official source for Back88 News, comments on the outside Xbox style video of you and Andy messing around on a lift that someone uploaded to YouTube, Mike. Must have been a glitch. Sure, a glitch. Anyway, they say, well worth the half hour prep, very smiley face. Half hour prep, I wish. <laughs> Look, Manar shouts, Jane should be doing Gangnam Style too, lol! You can see why it's the dance craze that's sweeping the nation. Meanwhile, comments continue to flood in on our XCOM Let's Play. Right, Hilario 2 has no time for beginners, commenting, Two absolute dolts playing with no understanding of game mechanics. Is it too late to change the title of the show to that? It can be the unofficial title. All right. Queen Lives Forever chimes in as well, saying, Wouldn't have won with mind control. His last unit was psionic, so the chances of mind controlling him were very small. Yes, in your face. I knew it. But I still won. Yeah, but it wasn't my fault, so moral victory. All right. Well, lastly, Dark LaFay enjoyed our Deus Ex Human Revolution retrospective with writer Jim Swallow, saying, You really asked interesting questions with depth and understanding, not throw away so like what's up with this coat, am I right? What's the designer? Can I buy one? Exclamation mark, question mark, exclamation mark, question mark. Oh man, I can't believe Andy didn't ask that. How many times do I have to tell him? I don't know, I'm never going to get hold of that coat. Yeah, well, I'm glad you managed to stop talking about cars for two seconds. Uh, I'm going and I'll see you in a bit. So that's it for Show of the Week, but don't forget to keep your feedback coming in. All right, we read the comments at youtube.com slash outside Xbox, or you can tweet us at outside Xbox. Or why not visit us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash outside Xbox, or of course you can go to the site at www.outsidexbox.com. Right, and if you want Mike to see your comments, you should probably get them made into a personalised number plate and attached to a car, because he really loves cars, <laughs> yeah, did you mention? Yeah, he does. Um, speaking of Mike, as we were just mm. then, I found another one of his notebooks, so I can tell because of all the cars he's drawn in the margin. Uh, he's planned out another feature here. It's um, Mike runs himself over again and again in various cars from Forza Horizon. All More right. like Jane and Andy run themselves over again and again, am I right? That's right. I'm lucky, Mike. <laughs> it's going to be brilliant.